healing is a powerful and transformative process that brings joy and restoration to our lives. The scriptures serve as a guiding light, offering comfort and hope during times of struggle. In this article, we will explore the beauty and significance of healing scriptures, focusing on Psalm 103, Isaiah 53, Matthew 4, James 5, 1 Peter 2, 3 John 1, and Psalm 147. By crafting a sermon of restoration around these verses, we can unleash joy and embrace divine healing in our lives. Unleash joy through healing scriptures, crafting a sermon of restoration. One of the most effective ways to unleash joy and restoration in the lives of others is through the power of healing scriptures. Psalm 103 is a beautiful psalm that reminds us of the Lord's goodness and mercy. By emphasizing verses such as Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, we can ignite a sense of hope and joy within the hearts of those who are in need of healing. Isaiah 53 is another powerful scripture that speaks directly to the restoration of our souls. The passage reflects on the suffering and sacrifice of Jesus Christ, reminding us that by his wounds, we are healed. By delving into the depths of this scripture and highlighting the transformative power of Christ's sacrifice, we can inspire a profound sense of joy and healing in our congregation. Matthew 4 recounts the healing ministry of Jesus Christ, showcasing his immense compassion and ability to bring restoration to the sick and suffering. By exploring the healing miracles performed by Jesus and emphasizing the words, he went throughout all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction among the people, we can instill a sense of hope and joy in the hearts of those seeking physical or emotional healing. Embracing Divine Restoration, Unveiling the Power Within Healing Scriptures James 5 offers powerful guidance on the topic of healing and restoration. This scripture urges us to pray for one another, that you may be healed, highlighting the importance of communal prayer and support. By crafting a sermon that emphasizes the power of community and encourages individuals to seek prayer and support from one another, we can unlock the joy and healing that comes from embracing divine restoration. 1 Peter 2 urges us to recognize that we are all called to be a part of God's healing work. By exploring the scripture's message of being living stones and a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, we can ignite a sense of purpose and joy within our congregation. This scripture reminds us that we have the power to bring healing and restoration to others, and by embracing this truth, we can experience profound joy in our own lives. 3 John 1 speaks to the importance of physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. The scripture affirms, Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health, as it goes well with your soul. By crafting a sermon that explores the interconnectedness of our physical and spiritual well-being, we can encourage individuals to prioritize their health and seek the joy and restoration that comes from aligning their mind, body, and soul. Psalm 147 is a beautiful psalm that exalts in the power and greatness of our healing God. It reminds us that He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds, offering a sense of hope and joy to those who are in need of restoration. By crafting a sermon that delves into the depths of this scripture and emphasizes the healing power of God, we can unleash a profound sense of joy and restoration among our congregation. In conclusion, Crafting a sermon of restoration through healing scriptures is a powerful way to unleash joy in the lives of individuals seeking healing and restoration. By delving into the depths of Psalm 103, Isaiah 53, Matthew 4, James 5, 1 Peter 2, 3 John 1, and Psalm 147, we can inspire hope, ignite a sense of purpose, and unleash joy in our congregation. Let us embrace divine restoration and recognize the power within these scriptures to bring healing and joy into our lives and the lives of others.